Kitchen Old School on realagriculture.com is supported by Bear Crop Science. The most common mistake we see guys making usually is they're uh, either run too little fan speed or they're closing their sieves down too tight, which cuts off their fan speed, especially the bottom sieve. Uh, the bottom sieve uh, generally used to be used as a cleaning sieve and uh, we've kind of moved with the new technology in combine these days that the top sieve is a cleaning sieve and you have to run the bottom sieve more open to get that, let that airflow come through. And especially in Canola, uh, we're here at the Canola Council in Westlock and uh, that's a big mistake in Canola as well is not getting enough air up to the top sieve. And one of the commonest things we see, Jason, is most guys usually do, typically do not use enough wind in these combines. Uh, that, that is a common thing, uh, that and the use of filler bars. I'd say when setting the Lexian Combine, the, uh, the biggest mistake that people make is that they tend to run things, on, especially the threshing system, too fast and causing too much material to come down onto the cleaning system and not, uh, not allowing the Combine to do its job properly. Uh, the, biggest, the biggest mistake that most producers uh, make are, is believing their yield loss monitor uh, without getting out of their combine and actually checking to see what's on the ground and comparing that w w with their yield monitor or yield loss monitor. That's the biggest mistake they make first of all. Uh, they need to check exactly what's on the ground and then set their com combine accordingly. I think definitely one of the most common is probably rotor speed and the concave setting. Um, what I'm noticing is in lots of crop conditions, the uh, rotor speed is typically not as high as what the combine will take. So um, a higher rotor speed maybe to what most manufacturers are doing is what's needed on the Massey combines, definitely. <laughs>